show. Over the past few weeks, we had some wonderful chefs from all over the world. On today's show, I decided to bring you here in Manchester in my own restaurant to meet one of the chefs we met before. you to one of my favorite chefs. This is Tino's from Isabella. Isabella Bella Lula. I knew you were going to correct me. How well. did I know that? Now tell me, <laughs> you're an Italian chef, of yes? Of course. And uh, is Isabella an island in Italy? Yes, it is an yeah. island on Lake Maggiore at the foot of the Alps, Switzerland border. And obviously it's one beautiful uh, scenery, plenty of flowers, mm. with a castle on, and, and it's... A nice uh, food. And nice that food. is where I come from. Yeah. That is why we even yeah. the restaurant in town is called Isola Bella. And is the food different to other parts of Italy? Or of course, yeah. Yeah, we are regional. Is, of course, Lake Maggiore is part uh, Piemonte and part Lombardia, which uh, Piemonte is Turin side, Lombardia yeah. is Milano side. So therefore, there are two little contrasts of uh, cultures and food yeah. presentation. So uh, what's the difference? Well, the, the difference is we have more um, from the Alps. We have plenty of cheeses, mm. plenty of healthy things like polenta, yeah. like gnocchi, like risotto. Mm. And of course, uh, in Milan, we got more produce from the land. We like we have the vegetable, nice fresh vegetable, we love veal, we will have uh, mm. poultry, and yeah. we will have a lot of agriculture. Great! Oh, Fantastic! Yes. Well, we learned something about it. Now, tell me, uh, how long have you been a chef? Well, I started when in my father's hotel in, in those days, uh, and uh, it was compulsory to do some work in the family. That's right. And I, I chose to be a bit of an apprentice in the kitchen with the chefs, yeah. And I learned to make a little bit of sweet and a little bit of everything else. Yeah. Then over the years, I had no choice but to stay in the trade. That's right. So did you have to go to a college to learn? Oh, yes. I yeah, not, to not really to a college, yeah. but uh, through the industry, industry. different yeah. hotels, different yeah. chefs, and yeah. they have all yeah. your background developed. Yeah. Italian families, like the Greek families, they, they involve you in the business, oh, don't they? Oh, definitely. From definitely. really young age. Well, that is the yeah. secret of success. Yeah. I, I do it with my mm. boys. Oh, wow. My boy is Actually, always working. He's only 11, but he's always working here. I'm very <laughs> pleased to know, because obviously in these days of everything ready to be ready made, yeah. no time to cook, no time for anything, That's right. to have a yeah. family involved, um, and you enjoy your food much better, yeah. because you know what is the effort yeah. you put in it. Now, I want to know a little bit about the chef association in, in England. Well, Can you tell me in England, England there are several chef associations. There is, for example, in the Manchester area, we have the Ciao Italia. I mentioned Ciao Italian first because the, the Italian <laughs> background, <laughs> yes. which is in, not only for chef, but is an association of restaurateurs of yeah. Italian yeah. in the north of England and North Wales. And what does that involve? I mean, um, how do you, be, do you have a member? cultures we have to have a restaurant or a owner or yeah. working in a restaurant for yeah. an italian owner of course yeah. with a good um, solid yeah. background yeah. of italian food mm. therefore that is ciao italia so how often do you meet but monthly Monthly. Monthly. Good, good excuse to exchange ideas Indeed. and, uh, and to have a nice and drink. Some wine. Oh, well, but by yeah, not, no, no, of course. Gun. Listen, finish your wine and then we're going to get you busy in the kitchen. We want you to you be cooking some of these dishes. Well, I try here. to. I try. So yes, this of is course. your only chance well, you're going to have to have some cheese. wine. Cheers. Oh, the only chance. I'm disappointed already. <laughs> right, Tino. Do I put spaghetti in of the water? Of course you put the spaghetti in. Am I doing it right? You do it That's perfect. Like a fan. That's yeah. correct. And okay. So, as you do, have you noticed, you do the sauce. Yeah. It will be no, done. What are we cooking, remind me? With the pasta asciutta, the Italian pasta asciutta, which most families have it for lunch. Lovely. Which I you fry have very gently, some onion, onion and with olive, olive oil. oil. Yes. oil. We add some bacon, of course it could have been ham, it could have been pancetta, salami, anything you anything. have. Anything. Yes. So, so that don't worry it will give that. you the flavor. Yeah. I have a chopped for us few mushrooms, mm. which they will go in. 
quite lovely. You can use any mushrooms again. And of course. You're using brown. I'm using brown mushrooms yeah. that are more flavor. Mm. Obviously, if you yeah. live like me on the mountains, we, we do have wild mushrooms. Mm. You go and collect them, don't Indeed, you? Indeed, myself. And bring them home to your mama. That's to right. Them. <laughs> and, uh, now, actually, please. All right, what do you want me to do with Just this? Just steal them off. Yeah. Otherwise, you will no, have you put a little bit of olive oil in your no, water. You no, you never put olive no. oil in Some that. do, you see. Some okay. do, yes. Of right, I'll stir that. That's it. And that is how the base of our sauce. Yeah, so, bacon, mushrooms, and onion. and onion, no garlic? Well, of course, I add it in now, and also the my fresh tomato, which I just diced. Put it in the sauce. So, in here we've got one large uh, tomato. You didn't yes. peel it or anything? No. no, it has to be done as natural, with yeah. all the vitamins and all. And the garlic, of course, yeah. it gives you the perfume. The, just the scent, it could be removed. You left the seeds in the tomatoes as yes, well? Yes, yeah. everything. Yeah. It's a fresh tomato. Great. Tino, I think I have to drain this please. pasta. Oh, yes, yes. please. We don't want to overcook pasta, no, do we? No, never. Al dente. Al dente. So oh, now, you will be so, so kind to add it on the sauce. Don't worry. And add the it sauce in. is ready, more or less. So, shall I add the pasta straight please, into no. the pan? Oh, no. that's good. You don't dirty lots of plates. No. Great. Oh, look at that. Oh, no. I couldn't do that. <laughs> of course you can. And have oh, you realized I have... It's so colourful as well. And this Italian. Yeah. That's the secret. That's of course, right. top it with a nice parmesan. And it's finished. And it's ready to eat. Oh, do you think I can taste a little bit? Well, of course we can. Mm. Oh, oh, just mix it like that. Just like an Italian. Yeah, oh, look at that. Mm. Now, the proper way is like this. Are you going to taste some? Of course I will, with you. Mmm. Gino. Don't lie, I know. No, it's delicious. Of course. Because all the Please. flavors are there. Yeah, yeah. You exactly. haven't lost anything. Nothing. And it was easy to do. Very easy, very fast. And, and that is the Italian pasta shoot. Yeah. We eat at home mm. every Sunday. Yeah. And what I like, you can use anything you want, really. Anything, anything you have in anything. your house, anything. in your fridge. That's right. That's Great. right. Great. Fantastic. So spaghettini, which of course yeah. are for reason of... Well, thank you very much. <laughs> it's been great. Well, we need to take a short break, but do join us afterwards for more wonderful food. Welcome back. Well, we're in my restaurant, in my own kitchen, and I'm with top chef, Italian chef Tino. Now, Tino, what are you going to cook for us now? Well, to the, after all what we have done, the pasta, etc., etc., now we come to the main course. Main course. And yes. I have chosen two very nice tender slices of veal, the classical way of Italian. Yeah. And what which you done obviously to them? They are being put in flour mm -hmm. to dry them up dipped in the egg white and beaten eggs with salt and pepper mm -hmm. and then in breadcrumbs, it's a special breadcrumb, Milanese style with Parmesan cheese involved and they will give you a nice crunchy flavor. Okay, so, so cheese and fresh breadcrumbs. Cheese and fresh breadcrumb. So please Lula, put the spinach on the fire so while I'm organizing right. the veal for you. Now this is fresh spinach. Fresh spinach with a touch of salt, no water whatsoever. Nothing. And that they will cook in a couple of minutes. So you're going to wilt the spinach. That's all right. Yeah. So by the time we got the yeah. milanese So ready. what's this dish called again? Vitello la milanese. Oh, I like, I like the way you talk. Oh, it's Milan. It's Italian Milan's accent, it's better Milan than Milan style, you yeah. see. Milan is very... 
Nordish, yeah. and we have a lot of fields around us. Yeah. So our parents used to have a bit salad, but of course you could serve it with potatoes, with the French anything beans, you and everything. Today I've chose spinach. spinach. Now in here you've got some butter and oil. Butter oil. and oil, yes, because if I put only butter, it will burn. That's so right. the oil it will stop yeah. it there. Yeah. Now as yeah. we dip in our wheel, yes. it will become nice and gold. That's right. So do you, do you have to cook this very quickly? Well, it is always very quick. Yeah. Even it's, it's not uh, one dish. Um, mm. And it's too done at, at the last minute. Otherwise, uh, the eggs and the crumbs, they will separate from the wheel with, through the humidity. Mm. That's and it right. Will so apart. you have to have your That's oil right. and butter hot Ready. and be fast. And be reasonably yeah. fast. Yes, reasonably fast. Yes. Lovely. Now, a lot of people think that veal is expensive or... Perhaps you know, it is. Uh, yeah, Perhaps so it is. if you don't want to cook veal, what do you cook? What do you substitute I'm using veal? beef, I'm using chicken, I'm using pork, I'm using turkey. Any, any slice of meat that uh, you are particularly... It has to be tender meat. Also, you could yes. use fish. Oh, oh that's good, yes. Yeah. Milanese. And this, is it a regional thing, this... Um, Milanese is yeah. classical, yes, classical, from the Italian so kitchen. Yes. Now, how yeah. is the spinach doing? Well, just a little bit. A little bit more. As, have you realized, from a full pan, in no, <laughs> in no time at all, it <laughs> go down to an answer. I know. Uh, yes. And in Greece, actually, what they do, uh, so uh, when they have a lot of spinach, they sort of squeeze the fresh spinach. Yes. Yeah, and to then get put all it the into the pan, take all the water out. To get the butter. Yeah, and then, That's right. because look, look at this, we've got water. Do you want to come and see this? Look. There is from water. a whole pan of spinach, yeah. we end up with very little, and look, all this water that comes out. That's why you don't need water, really, in the living yeah, spinach. Nothing at all. All the green veg are part water. I know. And chlorophylla. Is that why they're slimming? Indeed, <laughs> indeed. <laughs> And have you noticed how our wheel oh, become yes. now nice and golden? No, tea And it is ready. The Germans have a similar meal. The Wiener Yes. Yeah. But the Wiener Schnitzel is not, is, is not pan fried, it's deep fried. All oh, right. And yeah. on average, Wiener Schnitzel, they only use pork. Yes. Yeah. They don't use so, veal. So that's the difference. That is the difference. Yeah. Obviously, you have to realize that when the Austrians they were in Iran, in the 1800s, so they got the recipe. I was going to say, who copied who? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> no, and, and it's this ready. It's ready or? Oh, ready. that was fast. Okay, do you want to dish it up then? Of course I will. Right. Great. And where would you eat this meal in Italy? Would you eat it on special occasions? For lunch? Oh, that is meal? our own. Your lunch. Again. Always served yeah. with a yes. pinch of, pe uh, yeah. of lemon. We have a... Um, do you want me to drain this spinach? No, no? just pull it out oh. gently okay. and you will have... Just put it like that? Yes, no. have my fork, it's now, a bit bigger. Now you said you can serve anything you want with That's this, right. and especially in the summer, I suppose, so you have it with salads. It's a beautiful one. Yeah. All right, I'll look at there this. There you are. And believe me. Here we are. There is it only looks lovely. You don't need to put anything else on top of the spinach. That's well, enough. actually, now when you squeeze a touch of lemon on your Le meat, yeah. you also yeah. put a touch of lemon on your spinach. Yeah. That you will give it a little bit of a... Spinach is so popular now, and isn't it? Why very, is that, do you think? Very good. For very versatile, 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 isn't it? Versatile. There you are. Okay. Well, I think we've got time to taste this. <laughs> I already squeezed the lemon on that. Oh, on this one. So, so shall I go for that? Yes, please. Yeah. Now, if you want your meat well done, do you cook it a bit? A little bit more. Bit more when it's nice and cold, then obviously yeah. you pull it out of the fire. Oh, the lemon juice is bring, really suited. Please it's bring out the flavor. The flavors. Everything. Please. And you see the little parmesan is mm. nice and golden at the top. Chinos, you done well no so, not really but you have we haven't finished yet oh no we still need to go and do our pudding but let's Come go on, then let's, let's go. go let's go well it's time for the dessert the best part of the show oh, of course now yeah. tinos what are you making for oh, us today i'm making for you the tiramisu which mm. is one of the most popular dishes and uh, of course the most exquisite to taste after a nice meal, family style. We have a biscuit, we have coffee, we have sugar, we have rum, 
very fresh, good eggs, and of course the mascarpone, which is the essential, essential. for making the tiramisu. And the coffee, of course, cold coffee. Yes, isn't it? coffee. Yeah. The stronger, the better. Yeah. And this, are these special biscuits? Yes, there are biscuits made, which are in England you call it fish finger, but of mm. course they are made only on a very different way. Is egg white, mm. egg yolks, beat it separately, mm. joined together with crusted sugar and bake very slow in the oven. Lovely. To can you s of course can start can. with the so dessert? Therefore, for <laughs> yeah. making a nice little tiramisu, yeah. we will have to do it the, a little bit of the Italian style. Yeah. I emphasize the eggs, they must be very, very fresh. Yeah, of course. Therefore, yeah. for a little tiramisu, for us... For yeah. how many? For four. For four. Four, four eggs. For one. For, for me. Oh, <laughs> you greedy little I am. Yeah. Now, it's a very popular dessert, isn't it? Wh where did it originate? The tiramisu originated from the old recipe of Italian uh, for breakfast. We used to beat our mother, our grandma. We used to beat for... Beat? Beat. I thought you beat them. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> beat, if you like yeah. to say that. For yeah. yolks yeah. with some of the sugar. All the right. sugar, it will be approximately... Eight ounces. Eight ounces, all right, which is half a pound. That's right. And, and then you beat your egg white. And more you beat it... Your egg yolks. Egg yolks, yes. yes. With the sugar. As yes. you do that, they will become very white. Mm. So you need to yes, beat them to quite beat a, a lot. Yeah. Of course. All right, so it's four eggs. Four eggs. Eggs, okay. And when does the um, coffee go? Or the coffee, they will go after all After the biscuits. Okay. Now, do we need to put the biscuits in the bowl? Mm, yes, but yep, uh, first, no, 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 no. Yep. first you have to get uh, all the ingredients ready. Mm. That is only the base. Yep. And as you realize, my egg yolks, they already started That's right. with and to be very consistent, firm. Lovely. Now, how popular is this uh, uh, tiramisu dessert in your restaurant? It is very popular. It's one of the best sellers that I have to say. Yeah. Look. Oh, look at that. That's that really... Lovely. So we're ready now. Ready? No, 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 not quite. Not quite, Laura. Don't be so impatient. <laughs> now we have to do the egg whites. The egg whites. Because, of course, it's very important. Mm. Then I show you how to mix it all together. Now, why are we doing them separate? Because, of course, uh, you need a nice sauce that he has to set up. And if you mix it all together, egg yolks, uh, it won't be like that. So in, you can enrich it, instead of to add the egg white, you can put fresh cream, which is wrong, but uh, of That's course not the correct uh, way. it's not the correct yeah. way. Because I have seen it with custard, tiramisu with custard. But never, that's not, never, that's never, never, never. The yeah. custard actually is that egg yolks, which yeah. I just show you how to yeah. do it. Mm. So then the procedure is very easy. It's just a matter of blending the three ingredients. Okay, we're nearly ready. It's taking nearly it. ready. Maybe yes. we should have done it beforehand. Maybe only that yeah. one. Okay, and you can make them in little individual dishes as yes, well. Yes, of if you course, have uh, yes. definitely. Yes. Mm. But obviously, look much nicer mm. in a bigger plate. There's plenty of cacao mm. at the top, and you will really enjoy. No, oh, I love tiramisu, and uh, you can get now tiramisu in most. Big supermarket. Indeed, but it's yes. not the real thing, is it? Well, some <laughs> of them are excellent value, but of yes. course are commercial. This is yes. homemade. Yes. You it can't be it homemade. Never. Definitely not. All food, homemade, like Mama used to do. Yes. It tastes better. Now, is, is this something that your mother used to, used to make, or yes. your grandmother? My grandmother used to always beat when we were children. The, mm egg yolks with sugar and give it with the coffee. Honestly? Yes, because uh, in their opinion uh, you become stronger, better, better skin complexion yeah, and yeah. everything. Of course, uh, yeah. the secret of the older generation. Okay. <laughs> you see, even the egg, you see, is almost ready, it's fluffy. It has not to be over hard, otherwise you won't put, spoon it all over the biscuit. Okay, so we're ready to assemble our we are ready Ish. indeed. So as you have noticed, we got our egg white, mm. our yolks. Yeah. That he has to be put on all the cheese. So our ricotta cheese. All right. So you're mixing the egg yolks now into With the, the ricotta, cheese yes. and the sugar. And that. Uh, mm. it, it looks lovely, doesn't it? A lovely yes. yellow color. Because the eggs are very fresh. Mm. Yeah. 
You see, when you fold it in, never to steer it, but no. just uh, to make sure. Be gentle. That's right. Very Be gentle, gentle and very airy, mm. so the sauce will become mm. nice and smooth. Yeah. You see. Definitely. That is the secret of all the. Ba the base. That's right. So be patient. Be patient. Be That's patient. right. All right. Let me give you a sec. Uh, yes, please. Shall Ooh, I that put them in? Yes. Like that. Slowly. Like that. Slowly. slowly. I'd be very tempted to use a hand whisk. You know, well, uh, electric. There one. are people who do that, but <laughs> of course, no. They I'm a lazy chef. Too fast. Yeah. Too, too fast, fast for you. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I think actually you have to allow me just to. Oh, sorry. I'm a bit too finish. fast. Yeah. Otherwise, it That's won't be right. creamy. Uh, so you don't cook eggs then. You but don't need to cook this. No, 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 no. That is why you must have uh, the very, very, very fresh eggs. Yeah. Mm. Great. Okay. Now Put the rest. We are ready to assemble the dish. No more egg one? No. 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 Okay. Look, I put this away. That's the Yes. Okay. So. So what do we, we will put do? The biscuits first? Yes, you can start it to layer the bottom. Layer. Tell yes, me if please. I'm not if I'm doing it wrong. No, just like uh, that. Like that, easier. Yeah. That's right. And normally you will be tempted to to put your biscuit directly inside the the, the coffee. Oh, no, right. no, oh, right. the coffee. All right, the coffee. What's but the I like it. That, that's it, fine. Is that enough? Excellent. All right. So, so what we need we the coffee do, now. We will need the coffee, yeah. which we had a generous portion of rum. Oh, now ah. you are talking. <laughs> and then we just do that. All right. You just brush them then. Brush you them don't in. throw the whole no, coffee no, in. No, certainly not. Yeah. This. And it has to be strong coffee. It has to be strong yeah. coffee because yeah. the end produce it has to give you mm. that uh, waff, yeah. you know, that a little yeah. bit of a... So in Italy you use espresso? Espresso. <laughs> espresso coffee. I cannot drink espresso. I like cappuccino, but espresso... And then, as you notice, you spool up the sauce. All right, yeah. Okay, we have to be a bit faster though. A bit faster. Yeah. In that case, you do it like that. Okay. <laughs> that's it, that's enough. That's Say enough? That? Yes, All because right. we have to do a second layer All now. All right. Well, that's oh, yes. how much I know about uh, tiramisu. So, well, I'll put some more biscuits Exactly there. as before. That's right. It's a nice uh, dessert, really, to do because it doesn't involve much cooking. You don't put it all in. Just no? put it to cover the top. Is that is that all right? That's fine. Okay, that's, that's all right. Fine. Tell me off, everybody. No, does. no, it's not true. <laughs> it's just a little bit of um. All right, and the, uh, inside and information. And again, we brush it with this. Yes, you yes. See? I'm learning and fast. That you give. Uh, a nice flavor to your biscuit. That's right. Oh, I'm mm. glad I got somebody who helped me in the yeah. kitchen. You see, well. at that time, the chef is never understood. No, no, and well, you're talking to a professional here. Uh, are we now? No, as professional as yourself, well, of course, you know. In, in this case, <laughs> and then we finally, we will have to put oh, all right. on. That's so obviously, it. we don't have the time. No, no. Before. You can, Normally you could do two two layers. Is two layers is enough. Is enough. Yeah. You okay. don't need to have And more how layers. do we finish it now? Now we just add a nice generous helping of bitter cacao, which I and already it's, and and it's ready. ready to go in yeah. the fridge. Oh. I would like to say you let it in the fridge for two hours, and then you will start in appreciating. Tasting with the cook cacao. Oh, as much as that. Well, it's been really great. Thank you very much. A quick job. If you have any comments or you want to find out more, they write to us at World on a Play, Granada Satellite Television, Key Street, Manchester M60 9EA. That's World on a Play, Granada Satellite Television, Key Street, Manchester M60 9EA. Well, we run out of time, but do join us again next time for more World on a Plate.
As you can see, Lula's not very well today. I'm not very well today. I'm going to look after the show for you, Lula. Get well soon. Thank you. <laughs> in rainy Lancashire, Blackburn, in fact, and to be truthful, in Lango, we're at Northcote Manor, and we're going to see Nigel Howard, who really knows how to cook. The manor was built in 1880 as a private home for Mary Yates, the local spinster, and her family coat of arms still adorns the exterior of the building. The ownership of the house changed twice before 1929, when the Bertwistle family took up residence. From 1979, Northcote Manor became an hotel, but it was not until the current management took over the restaurant that it acquired its current excellent reputation. Well, this is Nigel Howes, Chef Paton. Hi. Nigel, tell us about you, and tell us about Northcote, and tell us about the Michelin stars and the chef of the year and all of those things that, <coughs> that you, I know you're yeah. too modest, but tell us about them. Well, they all seem in many ways a little bit of a blur, but we've been here now for 15 years. So it's been sort of quite a long path to get there. Um, Northcourt Manor, we came together as a partnership 15 years ago with Craig Bancroft. We bought Northcourt Manor seven years ago and things have blossomed from that. Um, my background actually now is recognised as regional cooker, but I actually worked in Switzerland for five years, worked in Scotland um, and did two years in London at the, the Grosvenor Hotel on the Road And did you work with any famous names? I, I actually, I worked with, uh, with more famous names in Switzerland like Mosiman etc yeah. than I did in London um, because what happened to me in London is that I, I didn't really find my niche and so I sort of skipped it and went uh, to Switzerland and there worked with uh, some wonderful chefs um, and learnt an awful lot. Basically, we trained again over there. Right, right. But come on, Michelin star man, that's something to be proud of. <laughs> yes, it is. It is, and it's uh, it's something that we treasure here. And we're always trying to do better. We, you know, at the end of the day, cooking is about a day-to-day -day thing. You don't always get it right. But one of the things that we do is always try. And the Michelin star gives us all. It, it gives us all something to focus on and something to achieve. You know, we're always looking to achieve more. So. Two Michelin stars, did you say? It <laughs> <laughs> could be, but um, I take life day by day, and at the end of the day, if something like that came along, fine. But I'm not going to make my life miserable just to try and achieve two stars. 1995, Chef of the Year? 1995, yeah, that was a high point. And um, I think for myself personally and for the whole hotel, it was something that um, was a, a, a day that I'll never forget. And, uh, you know, what happened? Ring you up and they say, "Is that fellow nine?" <laughs> yes, I won a car as well, Bill. <laughs> did you? <laughs> yes. Really? Oh, Which was handy. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Handy. Yeah. But did they ring you up? I mean, did did you? How did you learn about? it? I learned about it uh, actually on the day because we had a cook-off. Uh, six of us at Westminster College in London. All right. Yes. yes, um, yes, yes. And I, I learned about it on the day. And Rob Andrew actually presented me with my prize. And again. I'll never forget that one. Yeah, yes, of course. Yeah. So one of the things with, with cooking I always find is it's so interesting and it's so colourful. But there are also um, the people involved, aren't there? And the customers, interesting customers, which is the icing on the cake. It's, it's, it's theatre, it's showtime, oh, isn't yes, it? Yes. Yeah. yes it is. But also you can never forget that at the back of you is always a good team. And without, without the guys there and without my partner, you know, at the end of the day, we'd, we'd be nowhere. Are we going to the, go the kitchen? Well, let's go and do some <laughs> cooking next. Oh, you're going to okay, cook. Okay, okay, come yeah. on, let's go. Excellent. Off we go. Well, here we are in the kitchen, and Nigel is going to show us how to cook. Come on, Nigel. Right. Well, we're going to try this morning. We've got uh, monkfish with a difference. We've got monkfish on the Caesar salad this morning, and a yeah. wilted Caesar salad. On a wilted one? On a wilted well, Caesar. How did you wilt it, then? Well, we wilted it because <laughs> well, we've got all wilted, wilted leaves. No, actually, we do. What we're going to do is we're going to actually scorch the leaves right. in a pan. So, so we're changing the, the, the salad around and making it a warm salad. We're not right. actually...